Groovy is an object-oriented programming language for the Java platform. It is a dynamic language with features similar to those of Python, Ruby, Perl, and Smalltalk. It can be used as a scripting language for the Java platform, is dynamically compiled to Java Virtual Machine bytecode, and interoperates with other Java code and libraries. Groovy uses a Java-like curly bracket syntax. Most Java code is also syntactically valid Groovy. Groovy 1.0 was released on January 2, 2007, and Groovy 2.0 in July, 2012. Groovy 3.0 is planned for release in late 2014, with support for a new meter object protocol. Since version 2, Groovy can also be compiled statically, offering type inference and performance close to, or even greater than, Java's. Groovy is backed by Go Pivotal, which comprises the team from VMWARE. VMWARE acquired Spring Source, which acquired G21, the Groovy and Grails company. History James Strachan first talked about the development of Groovy in his blog in August 2003. Several versions were released between 2004 and 2006. After the JCP standardization process began, the version numbering changed and a version called 1.0 was released on January 2, 2007. After various betas and release candidates numbered 1.1, on December 7, 2007, Groovy 1.1 Final was released and immediately rebranded as Groovy 1.5 as a reflection of the many changes made. In 2007, Groovy won the first prize at JAX 2007 Innovation Award. In 2008, Grails, a Groovy web framework, won the second prize at JAX 2008 Innovation Award. In November 2008, Spring Source acquired the Groovy and Grails company. In August 2009 VMWARE acquired Spring Source. In July 2009, Strachan wrote on his blog, I can honestly say if someone had shown me the programming in Scala book by Martin Odesky, Lex Spoon and Bill Vindas back in 2003 I'd probably have never created Groovy. Strachan had left the project silently a year before the Groovy 1.0 release in 2007. In March 2004, Groovy had been submitted to the Java community process as JS241 and accepted by ballot. After eight years of inactivity, the spec led changed its status to dormant in April 2012. On July 2, 2012, Groovy 2.0 was released, which, among other new features, added static compilation and a static type checker to Groovy. Features, most valid Java files are also valid Groovy files. Although the two languages are similar, Groovy code can be more compact, because it does not require all the elements that Java requires. This makes it possible for Java programmers to gradually learn Groovy by starting with familiar Java syntax before acquiring more Groovy idioms. Groovy features not available in Java include both static and dynamic typing, closures, operator overloading, native syntax for lists and associative arrays, native support for regular expressions, polymorphic iteration, expressions embedded inside strings, additional helper methods, and the safe navigation operator. To automatically check for nulls, or variable, field. Since version 2 Groovy also supports modularity, being able to ship only the needed jars according to the project needs, thus reducing the size of Groovy's lib, type checking, static compilation, project coin syntax enhancements, multi-catch blocks and ongoing performance enhancements using JDK7's invoke dynamic construction. Groovy's syntax can be made far more compact than Java. For example, a declaration in standard Java 5 plus such as can be expressed in Groovy as Groovy provides native support for various markup languages such as XML and HTML, accomplished via an inline DOM syntax. This feature enables the definition and manipulation of many types of heterogeneous data assets with a uniform and concise syntax and programming methodology. Unlike Java, a Groovy source code file can be executed as an script if it contains code outside any class definition, is a class with a main method or is a runnable or Groovy test case. A Groovy script is fully parsed, compiled, 
and generated before execution. Groovy beans slash properties, Groovy beans are Groovy's version of Java beans. Groovy implicitly generates accessor and mutator methods. In the following code, set color, string color, and get color are implicitly generated. And the last two lines, which appear to access color directly, are actually calling the implicitly generated methods. Groovy offers simple, consistent syntax for handling lists and maps, reminiscent of Java's array syntax. Metaprogramming Groovy offers support for metaprogramming through Expando Meter class, extension modules, categories, and delegating Meter class. Expando Meter class offers a DSL to express easily the changes in the class, similar to Ruby's open class concept. Groovy's changes in code through metaprogramming are not visible in Java, since each attribute method invocation in Groovy goes through the meta class registry. The changed code can only be accessed from Java by going to the meta class registry. Groovy also allows overriding methods as get property, property missing among others, enabling the developer to intercept calls to an object and specify an action for them, in a simplified aspect oriented way. The following code enables the class Java Lang string to respond to the hex property. The Grails framework uses metaprogramming extensively to enable GORM dynamic finders, like user find by name, Josh and others. Dot and parentheses, Groovy's syntax permits omitting parentheses and dots in some situations. The following Groovy code can be written as enabling the development of domain specific languages which look like plain English. Functional programming, although Groovy is mostly an object oriented language, it also offers functional features. Closures, according to Groovy's documentation, closures in Groovy work similar to a method pointer, enabling code to be written and run in a later point in time. Groovy's closures support free variables, that is variables which have not been explicitly passed as a parameter to it, but exist in its declaration context, partial application, delegation, implicit, typed and untyped parameters. When working on collections of a determined type, the closure passed to an operation on the collection can be inferred. A group of expressions can be written in a closure block without reference to an implementation and the responding object can be assigned at a later point using delegation. Curry, usually called partial application, this groovy feature allows closures parameters to be set to a default parameters in any of its arguments, creating a new closure with the bound value. If you supply one argument to the curry method you will fix the first argument. If you supply n arguments you will fix arguments 1n. Curry can also be used in the reverse direction using RCURRY. Groovy also supports lazy evaluation, reduced fold, infinite structures and immutability, among others. XML and JSON processing On XML and JSON processing Groovy employs the builder pattern, making the production of the data structure less verbose. For example, the following XML can be generated through the following Groovy code and also can be processed in a streaming way through Streaming Markup Builder. To change the implementation to JSON, we can just swap the Markup Builder to JSON Builder. To parse it and search for a functional language we can use Groovy's Find All method. String interpolation in Java, when creating a string by joining a string literal to an expression, it's necessary to end the literal and use the concatenation operator. In Groovy we can interpolate the string with variables and expressions by using strings. Strings containing variables and expressions must be declared using double quotes. A complex expression must be enclosed in curly brackets. This prevents parts of it from being interpreted as belonging to the surrounding string instead of to the expression. Expression evaluation can be deferred by employing arrow syntax. AST transformation, according to Groovy's own documentation, when the Groovy compiler compiles Groovy scripts and classes, at some point in the process, the source code will end up being represented in memory in the form of a concrete syntax tree, then transformed into an abstract syntax tree. The purpose of AST transformations is to let developers hook into the compilation process to be able to modify the AST before it is turned into bytecode that will be run by the JVM. 
AST Transformations provides Groovy with improved compile time metaprogramming capabilities allowing powerful flexibility at the language level, without a runtime performance penalty. Examples of ASTs in Groovy are, Singleton Transformation, Category and Mixin Transformation, Immutable AST Macro, Neurify Transformation, among others. Traits, according to Groovy's documentation, Traits are a structural construct of the language which allow composition of behaviors, runtime implementation of interfaces, behavior overriding, and compatibility with static type checking compilation. Traits can be seen as interfaces carrying both default implementations and state. A trait is defined using the trait keyword. Then it can be used like a normal interface using the implements keyword. Traits allow a wide range of capabilities from simple composition to testing. Learn more at Groovy's trait documentation page. Adoption, Groovy is used in massive financial applications on top of a DSL and distributed environment. Wired.com uses Groovy and Grails. Though Groovy can be integrated into any JVM environment, the JBOS SCM framework provides Groovy, besides Java, as a development language, out of the box. The European Patent Office developed a data flow language in Groovy to leverage similarities in the processes for communicating with each individual county Euro unregistered trademark S Patent Office, and transform them into a single, universal process. LinkedIn uses Groovy and Grails for some of their subsystems. XWIKISAS uses Groovy as scripting language in their collaborative open source product. SOAP UI provides Groovy as a language for web service tests development. Sky.com uses Groovy and Grails to serve massive online media content. VCALC.com uses Groovy for all of the user-defined mathematics in its math crowdsourcing engine. 1. IDE support. Many integrated development environments and text editors support Groovy, Eclipse, through Groovy Eclipse, Emacs, using Groovy mode. In TLEJ Idea, Community Edition, Grails Griffon in the Ultimate Edition only, NetBeans, since version 6.5, TextMate, Sublime Text 2, a cross platform text editor, developer, for use with Oracle ADF, Shapeworks, a cloud based IDE, JEdit, an advanced text editor for the Java platform, Notepad, an advanced text editor for Microsoft Windows. See also Grails Web Framework, Griffon Desktop Framework, Gradle Build Automation Tool, Juzu Web Framework, Project Zero, Tellurium, Groovy Server Pages, Domain Specific Language, Programming Languages, Comparison of Programming Languages, References Notes External Links, Official Website, An Introduction to Groovy, Groovy at DMOZ, Interview with Guillaume Laforge about Groovy, from QCON London 2007, interview with Guillaume Laforge and Graham Rochelle about Groovy and Grails, from Spring 1 New Orleans 2009, GPARS, the Groovy Concurrency Library.